Everything I've shown you so far concerning rhythms has been in the key of A. But let's say you get together with some of your friends and you're playing some music and hey, let's play some blues. Okay, that sounds great. What key you want to play in? Um, how about the key of G or the key of F or the key of B flat? You're like, well, um, uh, all right, here's how you do it. I'm going to show you a movable 12 bar pattern so you can play it in any key you want. Okay. For the example, to illustrate this, I'm going to be using the key of G. Now, in order to facilitate this property, you need to know all your notes on the sixth string and all your notes on the fifth string. There is a guitar chart on the site of www.iconsofrock.com. Go on there and check it out. And if you don't already know those notes, you can learn them all really easy. Okay. Once again, as I said, I'm going to start in the key of G. So, the sixth string at the third fret, that note is G. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my third finger and I'm going to place it at the fifth string, fifth fret, and just play those two notes together. Only those two notes. Hear that? Now, to rock it back and forth and give it, you know, a kind of vibe to it. I'm going to take my fourth finger. Now if you haven't got too much experience playing the guitar, it's going to be a little bit of a stretch for you. One of the things I'm going to suggest is you'll see a lot of guys, they have their thumb up here over the top and while that may look cool, it's pretty ineffective. You want to have your thumb, if you can see like this, about the middle of the neck. This way you can curve your hand under there and you're going to have plenty of room to make this stretch here. Now, if I were to do this, I couldn't even do this. You see what I mean? Nobody can. It's just, it's just not going to work. So keep your thumb kind of low like that. And then we're just going to kind of make a nice C with our hand here over the top here and you should have plenty of room to stretch your pinky out to that fifth string, seventh fret. So. The first part of it, or the one chord, will sound like this. Now the pattern is going to be exactly the same, except for we're going to move it down one string. So as opposed to using the sixth and the fifth string, we're going to be using the fifth and the fourth strings. So remember, we're just going to move everything down. And that's going to, what we're going to be calling the four chord. Back up to the one chord. Now, the five chord is going to be the same as the four chord, but up two frets. Then back to the four chord. To the one chord. Back to the five chord. Okay, now I'm going to show you that as one entire piece and then I'm going to show it to you how you can move around the keys. Okay, but first the movable 12 bar pattern in the key of G. So whatever key you're wanting to play in, this is the one chord or the key note or the root note here. So if you wanted to play it in the key of G, you would start here with this G note and follow that pattern. Let's say for example you wanted to play it in the key of F. The sixth string first fret on the guitar, that's F. We'd use that, follow that same pattern, the one chord, four chord, back to the one. See how that works? Back to the four chord. Back to the one chord, to the five chord, to the four chord, one and resolve to the five. So, like I said, anywhere you want to play this on the neck is cool, you know? Here's B flat. Oh, Chuck Berry used to 
Love that key, E flat. It's however you want it to be, okay? Movable 12-bar pattern. 